Neymar has said he's going to retire from international football after the next World Cup. And whilst that throws up many questions in itself, it does suggest, Sam, that there might be a changing of the guard after Qatar 2022. Yeah, surprised to hear it from Neymar. But it's not just Neymar in this conversation, is it? I mean, look, Lionel Messi is 34. He'll be 35 at the next World Cup and 39 at the following one. And Cristiano Ronaldo will be 41 in 2026. Lewandowski, 37. Benzema, 37. I guess you'd say there's no guarantee that any of these guys will be around for any more than one World Cup. You never know, but we'll see. And we'll probably see a host of new attackers and host of new players by the time that, that, that tournament rolls around. Yeah, I mean, Neymar's probably the most interesting of that crop. Both Cristiano mm. and Leo Messi will compete at Qatar at the age that Neymar will be by the time that the World Cup in 2026 was around. Yeah. And you'd imagine that Neymar might want a World Cup where he was the kind of legend elder statesman on his own, especially one in the US. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Maybe he just would like to play a World Cup where the other two aren't there. You know, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Well, he'll have, he'll have <laughs> new competition, you'd imagine, but still. Yeah, I mean... It's, it's better though, isn't it, when the two greatest players ever to have played the game aren't, aren't there to try and ruin your dreams and, and beat your team. I think things get a bit easier when, it, when, when, when things are like that. So for Neymar, I'd say that would be a huge opportunity uh, to finally escape the shadows that you've been trying to escape for literally your entire career because these guys have gone on so long that he's never really been able to emerge from those shadows. But it does surprise me that he has talked about how much pressure that he feels like he's under. It, the fact that he gets compared to Pele probably weighs down on him. The fact that Brazil is such an expectant country when it comes to football. And actually the only real success they've had recently, he missed because he was injured. That's a bit awkward. But it, I guess given that he spent so long at the top level in the elite phase of the game, I mean, these guys are mentally, they're very, very strong. So to hear them come out and say things like this is always a bit of a shock. Yeah, I mean, it's an interesting one. Is there undue amounts of pressure on him? Because as you say... Every time the Selecao turn out for Brazil, they are expected to win, mm -hmm. right? And there are plenty of excellent teams. And you'd say in the 2014 World Cup, in the 2018 World Cup, even at the next World Cup in 2022, Brazil are not or were not the standalone favourites for any of these competitions. World Cups are notoriously <laughs> difficult to win. Very hard right? to win. Ask Lionel Messi, ask Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah. None of them have ever won a World Cup. And the fact that Neymar you know, has this pressure to deliver. And as you say, because Brazil is so expecting, because there was that Pele comparisons of him coming through the Santos Academy and all of the above, it does feel like there's just this kind of weight on his shoulders in a way that perhaps there isn't so much on other players. Probably, but that's what the best player in the team does. He takes the weight of expectation, doesn't he? Sure, but he... then when the weight of expectation is amplified by the fact that you are Brazilian yes. and you have this rich history of World Cup wins, mm -hmm. does that take it to a new level? Probably, and the fact that it kind of feels like they've come, he's kind of come so close, but not quite enough on multiple stages of his career. And that doesn't just mean internationally, like he's lost the Champions League final, he's missed out on Brazil's only real success. He, at the home World Cup in 2014, was stretched off with a, with a back injury and that was absolutely heartbreaking for him. 2018, they were very, very good but couldn't quite get it done. You just wonder if, like, basically a decade of nearly but not quite, it just, it gets to the point where it just kind of suffocates you a little bit. And that would be a real shame. And it's on Brazil, it's on Tite, the manager, it's on his teammates to, to hear, hereby, like, reassure him that it's on all of them. And yes, there's a lot of pressure on the Brazilian national team to win. And there's a lot of pressure of them to win and win in style as well, which is yet another layer to it. It can be crushing, it can be heavy, it can be difficult, but I want to see his teammates rally around him because they must be thinking, no, no, no please keep playing because you're excellent. You're like the third best player in the world. Uh, we could really use you in 2026 and you will still be able to play. Brazil can't let this happen. Brazil have got to rally around him and, and let him know that they're there to support him. Yeah, I mean, his only international trophies, obviously, are that Olympic gold medal and the Confederations Cup. Now, by no means, I think most people would kill for those two trophies, <laughs> so let's not knock them. But I imagine for Neymar, that's not going to be what he wants to be the sum total of his achievements on an international level. He can't be considered one of the greatest Brazilian players of all time unless he's won something a little bit more notable than that. He's... 
he's in a very crowded field, isn't he? Because exactly. Brazil, since about 1930, have had some serious players. Yeah, well, I mean, Qatar 2022 will be 20 years since Brazil have won a World Cup. That is a long time if you wear the, the yellow and green of the yeah. Sal. Not um, as long as Argentina, though. No, not as long as Argentina. But <laughs> They've always is, got that. There is that. There is that. They can hold that back. And oh, a nation turns its eyes to Neymar to yep. try and end this drought. And you'd imagine that is, well, particularly pressing. Yep. So we'll see. Maybe if he wins it, we'll see Neymar go, right, that's enough for me. I've won the World Cup now. I'm going to bow out gracefully. But of course, we'll be keeping an eye on Neymar, Brazil, and all international football here on Live School.